Did you know that Canada has their own Rosa Parks and that her legacy now graces the Canadian $10 bill? Hey bosses, it's Dr. B, your favorite business doctor. I'm about to get all up in your black business and highlight the story of Viola Desmond, a Canadian pioneer and businesswoman who refused to give up her seat in a segregated city. In doing so, she became a catalyst for social change, much like Rosa Parks in the United States. First things first, if you find this content informative, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Also, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, let's get started. Born in 1914 in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Miss Desmond became a well-established beauty industry entrepreneur who modeled herself after Madam C.J. Walker by selling beauty products to black women at a time when products were not widely available. Her civil rights story unfolded in 1946 when she challenged the status quo by refusing to give up her seat in a segregated cinema. You see, on that day, Miss Desmond purchased a ticket for the main floor of the theater but was denied her seat. She was told to move to the balcony, which was reserved for black patrons. She chose to remain in her seat and was then jailed for her resistance. She went on to take her case to court, becoming the first black woman in Canada to challenge racial segregation in the legal system. She did not win her case. However, Miss Desmond's act of defiance was a catalyst for change, much like Rosa Parks in the United States. It sparked conversations about racial segregation in Canada and inspired others to challenge the unjust practices. In 2010, the government of Nova Scotia issued an apology and a posthumous pardon. In 2016, the Canadian federal government announced that Ms. Desmond would be commemorated on the newly designed $10 bill. If you find stories like this informative, stay tuned for more. And very importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.